Hey there, it's Martha. And if you're new, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. This is my favorite, one of my favorite videos because I love making melting baskets. I love shopping my stash. I love thinking about, okay, what am I gonna wanna warm in this next few weeks? And uh, that's what I did. So I pulled my basket here. You know, it's, it's hefty. <laughs> And look, scoops, Maz, I got scoops in there. So um, I did, I did, I did, she's, she's holding me accountable to like get through some of my scoops. So I did add two in there, um, but this is my, this is now let's get into fall. Like let's stop messing around with, you know, summer scents, spring and summer scents. Let's get into fall. You know, there's some, I think all year round transitional scents that I put in here, but it's heavy fall scents. And one thing that I will do a little different with this melting basket is I'm gonna go through the melting basket like I normally do vendor by vendor. Um, but then at the end, I'm going to take my handy dandy little fall melting challenge. So over on my Facebook group, if you haven't joined, go join, check it out. Um, and over there I did, you know, this was actually created by Shijo. She took my prompts and put it in a calendar form, which I love. So thank you, Shijo. Uh, so what I'm going to do at the end of this melting basket, because this starts September 2nd, uh, Monday, September 2nd. So what I'm going to do is just go through my basket like I normally do, and then take this in a way to show you how, for the most part, pretty easy to find scents that go with a challenge. So if you already have a melting basket in your mind, trust me, you can probably find things to go with the challenge. I did that with, um, I did that with the Olympic challenge we did, you know, I already had my melting basket done for July and, uh, but I was able to pretty much maybe with one or two exceptions, find something that went with the challenge. And that is a fun challenge to do as well, just to like, let's see what I got in here that would go with these. Now this, um, you know, you can print it out. If you, again, if you go to my Facebook page, you can print this out and it's mostly fall scents. So it's probably stuff you already have in your basket. So if you wanna do this challenge, please join us uh, again over in my Facebook group, which I'll put a link down below. I, it is a private group. I do just ask some questions out of curiosity, like what's your melting this week? Just pick a scent. <laughs> and then of course, how did you hear about it? Which could be here on YouTube. And just, you know, that you are going to abide by the rules, which are basically there to just like, this is a fun, feel good space, you know, keep it positive, let everyone feel like they belong and are inclusive and all of that stuff. So anyway, let's get started with the September melting basket. All right, I'm gonna start with Scentsy first and then move from there. So this basket, again, there it's suggestions. I have a lot of fall in here, but you'll see that I have some other stuff. And then I'm, I'm really in this bakery mood right now. So we'll see how I feel in a few weeks in October, but starting off with a couple of the new scents from um, Scentsy and then some old, some old ones that I just haven't smelled in a while. So I'm gonna start off with this first one here is Hay Rides. So Hay Rides is, Hay, cedar wood, and apple orchards. Then we have, um, I'm not even gonna smell them. I don't want this to be a super long video, <laughs> but we'll see. Well, I'm gonna smell some things. I, I say I'm not, and then I do. White peach and cranberry, but I feel like I recently smelled these. So white peach and cranberry. This is white peach with a tart cranberry. I think this was part of the harvest collection, if I am correct. Then berry apple shortbread. So this is berry, lemon, clove, and vanilla. This one was one of my favorites from the Harvest Collection. So these are available by the time you by the time you're watching this, they are available. So September 1st, um, all the Sensi has transitioned from fall to winter. So if you're interested in any of these fall and winter ones, and I'll call them out that are available now then, um, you know, check out my website. I am a Scentsy consultant and I would be happy to answer any questions if you don't have one. Um, this one is really good. This is just a nice bakery bakery scent. And I, enjoy, I am, I'm really looking forward to that one because that one I think was one of my favorites. Let me see if I have, let me pull out the newer stuff so I can keep that together. Okay, 
This one is part of the new fall scents coming to the catalog at Scentsy. This is Pistachio Woods, and this is Pistachio and Buttery Almond on Cedar Wood. So I love pistachio scents. I'm very, very curious about this. I've heard good things from um, other consultants that have warmed them already. So excited to melt that one. And then the rest of these are, I think, no longer available. Yeah, they're um, King Cake. King Cake is, I think the scent notes are in here. This particular bar, and I think she sent me two or three, uh, Alexis Schluter sent me in friend mail because I mentioned that I was, this was a regret not putting it in my club. I love almond croissant from Scentsy. Also not available anymore. And this smells very similar. It's got the same vibe. And by the time I got around to warming this Mardi Gras collection that this was a part of, I didn't put it in my, I just, it wasn't available in the club anymore. Um, and so I missed out on it, but this is cinnamon, brown sugar, and butter. It's so good. Then from the Bring Back My Bar earlier this year, I think it was January, Vanilla Walnut. So this is a very pretty vanilla with a nutty, nuttyness to it, right? From the walnut. And I have this in my club currently, but I might su substitute this one with Vanilla Amber, which is also one of the new scents in the catalog right now. Um, vanilla Walnut is not available anymore. I don't feel like I want a lot of, van I don't, need like two heavy vanilla scents. I also have vanilla barnyard in there, which is come back. Um, so it's like, okay, make a decision on what vanilla scent you want to keep in your club. So I might pull vanilla walnut out and sub in vanilla amber, even though they're different, right? Amber is much more of like a body care, maybe a little more perfumey versus vanilla walnut, which would be a little more on the bakery side with the nut, but with the nut. <laughs> but anyway, Frosted Cinnamon Roll is from last year. This was either September, October, sent to the month last year. And yeah, it's a, it's a cinnamon roll. So that's gonna, I'm gonna smell, I'm definitely gonna be smelling like spices when I go to, go to work. And then Cozy Kitchen. This was from the, let me see if I can say it correctly. It's like Huga, Huga, something like that. Van, uh, wax Collection. It's either it's definitely a Scandinavian word. I don't know if it's Norway, Norwegian, or Danish, but Scandinavia. It's definitely one of those two. Uh, it basically means like cozy. And so that is part of that collection that they brought back as a brick last year. And I am not a brick person. Bricks is just too much wax for me. So I put this scent in my club to get the bar version of it. And that is Cozy Kitchen. I think I kept it in there because I have not warmed this yet. Nope, I haven't warmed it yet from last year. I've had this since November and have yet to warm it. This is a bakery scent. Yeah, it's and it's for me perfect for right now. I'm getting a lot of fall spice in here. Really, really yummy. So that is Cozy Kitchen. And then this is from the Mother's Day collection back in 2023. This is Wildflower Cotton. And I enjoy this one a lot. This is Zesty Lemon wildflower cotton. Let's see, what does it say? Cotton, like a cotton scent uh, as well. That's not really what I get. I get maybe some like a fresh linen scent, but I get a lot of sandalwood in here and like maybe that little bit of lemon to add some brightness. It does remind me a lot of sandalwood tangerine, which I can't recall if that retired or sticking around. I know the, I don't remember now, but anyway, that, that particular scent was an LTO. So next I'm going to move on to the vendor wax I have in this basket. So I'm going to start off with some scoops. Um, Maz, I put in scoops. See, you can, there's proof here. Um, uh, this first one is harvest moon. It's leaves, honey, spiced pear. Yeah, and it smells really nice. I've not used this at all. This is from September of last year. Um, we we do have a little, it's not a running joke, but she's on me to <laughs> melt some scoops because I always say that for whatever reason, I'm never melting my scoops. So I put, she reminded me to put some in the basket. Um, so this next one is Resting Witch Face. This is apple, pumpkin, marshmallow, and zucchini bread. And this is also from... 
September of 2023. And that is Resting Witch Face. I got this one from the recommendation of Tara from Tara's Fragrance World, I think. I think that's her channel name. And uh, yeah, it's a really like a bakery with that zucchini bread. And um, I'm looking forward to that one and that apple butter. So those are my two scoops that I'm going to attempt to melt this season. Um, then let's see. I think I only pulled two. I believe from second and spruce. Uh, this one here is called cashmere cozy. It's cashmere cream, cashmere cedar in mallow fireside cashmere cozy. I was digging through there and I did want to warm uh, a couple cents. And there is a prompt in here about some coat, like a cozy scent. Uh, so I did pull that specifically for the melting challenge. And then I smell fall. This is pumpkin mallow, mallow fireside, apple cider, brown sugar, and vanilla. And this is from October of last year. I smell fall and haven't warmed any. And when I see stuff like hitting a year that I hauled it, it makes me want to say no buy, no buy. Just you have so much great wax. Enjoy what you have. Um, so that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, then from, from Knoll's Farm Sense, I did want to warm a couple things because I did place um, a pre-order that is coming in September. I, he just posted today that it should be, I'm recording this early, just by the way, uh, but he posted that it should be coming or shipping out the middle of September. So figured I might as well warm a little bit more to make sure I... I keep moving inventory out and find room in the drawer. So this one here is after midnight. This is white oak, vanilla, cocoa butter, and cashmere. This is also in my earthy scents um, video that I did a week ago. And it's that white oak and, and that scent. Making this kind of a masculine, I get a lot of that cocoa butter, which I do enjoy. And then apple peel and leaves. This is apple, orange, peach, Fallen Leaves, Cinnamon, Clove, and Nutmeg. This is from September of last year. So this is a year old, never warmed it, never warmed it. And this is how they came last year. This probably took him a lot of time to do. Now he's doing brittles, but um, it was kind of cute to have the, the check, checkered look. Yeah, this is a great, ooh, I get a lot of orange actually get a lot of that orange and I get the fallen leaves. I get peach. And that's what I love about Knoll's Farm scents that I can really smell like all the scent notes. I really do. I pick them all up. Um, and that's really nice. And then warm the soul. It's another cozy scent. So I wanted something for those nights where I know it's going to start getting a little brisk. Uh, and this is by the fireplace, Palo Santo and zucchini bread, warm the soul great scent. I have this in a loaf as well. And he should, he should request this. Um, it's a great smoky scent, um, for his next pre-order. Okay. Now I'm going to move on to, let me move on to Sassy Girl Aroma. I purposely picked Sassy Girl Aroma and a lot of rose girls because I have a lot of it and I haven't warmed a lot of it during, during the year. I really haven't warmed a whole lot of Sassy Girl Aroma. So I did grab some brittles and this first one here is pistachio Disneyland. I think it's just called pistachio waltz or pistachio going to waltz, something like that. Um, and I was watching Chris from Dazzling Scents with Chris. She did her what she's been warming and she warmed this. And I had just smelled this earlier today because I was kind of going through my drawers. Like I said, it's so fun to make this basket and kind of sniff stuff. And I didn't pull it out originally. And then after I saw her video, I was like, you know what? I should pull it out. I have half a brittle. Like let's, why are we holding on to this partial here? This is pistachio, cotton candy, strawberry, pineapple, creamsicle, lemonade, and whipped cream. So here is still a little bit of some a summer scent sneaking in. Um, but again, didn't want to make it all fall and then get tired of fall too soon. This next one here is It's Fall, Charlie Brown. 
This is a year old now, almost October of 2023. This is apple, pumpkin, strudel, and zucchini bread. It's fall Charlie Brown. This was a scent I had heard so many people talk about. So I did purchase it when it was being offered and looks like I just warmed a little bit last year. Didn't get too far on that one. Also purchased, I purchased a lot of um, Sassy Girl Aroma, a lot of everything last fall, to be honest. Um, and this one is also from that pre-order in October of 2023. This is Oh My God Pretzel. This is Strawberry White Cake Sugar Cookie Marshmallow and Pretzel. Brand new brittle. It just snapped in half, but haven't warmed it. This smells really good, like really good. And I am picky with strawberry, but I think that strawberry, the white cake and the marshmallow and the, oh, the cookie, it smells so good. Then I have another one from December of last year. So this was a little later, but this is pumpkin oat milk. And this has scent notes that I cannot read because they're tiny. Oh, are my glasses in here? Yes, they are. This is pumpkin oat milk, and this is, it says, wonderful notes of cinnamon, lemon, followed by pumpkin, nutmeg, and a beautiful finish of warm oat milk, vanilla, and clove. So another brand new bar. I love those colors. Those are so fall. That smells good. Yeah. It's got a sweetness to it. So that is pumpkin oat milk. And then this one I pulled out as well because it's old <laughs> and I, I don't want to be holding on to things from early 2023 as we're moving close to 2025. So this one is lips of an angel. And uh, I love this scent. And I think that's partly why I still have it. Cause I'll just like use up a little bit, you know, here and there. And I don't want to be out of it because one, I don't, I didn't see the scent come back often. Um, and two, she's closed right now, right? So I don't think this is one of those scents that's going to come back right away. But this is dark sweet cherry, pink raspberry, brown sugar, cotton candy, sensual musk, French creme, to tonka bean, whipped cream, and marshmallow. It's beautiful. And I love warming this in the bedroom. So I have you know, just a little bit uh, less than half. And that is Lips of an Angel. So that's the Sassy Girl Aroma that I pulled. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I forgot a Knowles, a Knowles Farm Scents. This is Cozy Evenings. This is Leaves, Beach Nights, and Comfort. I ordered this in the pre-order, so I felt, figured I can finish this one off uh, since it's, you know, it's a partial, basically. So I forgot about that one. Okay. Now let's move to these little guys on top. I think I hate when I miss one by accident. Let's see, are these okay? Like I did with Knowles Farm Scent. So these are from That Smell Good Shop, and these are all from, I believe, Friend Mail. Yeah, these are all from Friend Mail that She Joe sent me that got me to. Now, now have this be in my, in my uh, I, I, I can't say favorites because I haven't used a lot of it besides what she sent me, but very impressed. I did a haul recently from that small good shop and I can see, I can foresee that this will be a vendor that I'll regularly, you know, go in and, and purchase from. So this is the full, this is white tea leaves, plum and apple. So I like that this had this apple scent in there. Apple is a great transition scent. Um, and there's just three. So I wanted to kind of use these, these smaller bags up. This is Scarlet Witch. This is Cinnamon Red Apple and French Bread. Scarlet Witch. Then I have Voldemort. This is Driftwood, Vetiver, and Coconut. Voldemort. And then after midnight, Lavender Pound Cake. Gotta have a little bit of lavender in here. I might need to add some more lavender scents. Um, this one here is What Big Teeth You Have. This is Eucalyptus and Fresh Rain. So that's that one. And ba Big Bad Wolf. This is Wizards and Wands, Black Canyon and Vanilla Bourbon. So I don't know if that 
You can see that? So that is my It's That Smell Good Shop, not It's That Smell Good Shop. Okay, here's one that a vendor you have not seen me talk about in months and months. I believe she's now closed, I think, officially. I know a lot of people were hauling her this year or when she announced she was closing. Um, but this is L3 Waxy Wonders. I, I uh, filmed this a day before she announced that L3 will continue to stay open. It seemed to shock the wax world. Uh, overall, I think it's a good thing. I, I'm glad I didn't buy any and I didn't, you know, I'm not in a place where I have tons and tons of it. So it's still available for me when I want it. Uh, so overall, I'm happy uh, of the announcement. So ignore what I'm going to say in the next few minutes. Hey, this was my second or third vendor that I tried. And uh, I did not go hard before she closed just because it's still a newer vendor. It's not one that I was very familiar with a lot of her scents, although I really enjoy warming her wax and it performs for me. But, it, you know, I figured I have so much wax. Let me focus on maybe other vendors and new scents that I know I can continue to get than to try something brand new and then be heartbroken that I can't get it anymore, you know? So that's that was my my decision making with that. So from L3 Waxy Wonders, I have Jack's Obsession Scentsy Type. So she brought this back and uh, I love Jack's Obsession. And then Wicked Vanilla Woods Bath and Body Works Type. This is a um, fragrance spray. I don't know if I have any more, but I love, I do really love that scent. Then I got um, pumpkin spice latte pecan pie whipped cream. So I have so many pumpkin scents. I had to start bringing them out. And then this one is strawberry fest. This is fresh picked strawberries, vanilla ice cream, strawberry pound cake, and funnel cake. Strawberry fest. And then two of these, um, I think one's called a trade bar. I don't forget what these are called, but this one is hay. It's just called hay. <laughs> um, I wanted to warm both this one and the Scentsy Hay Rides uh, because they're different. Scentsy's is a little sweeter and this smells just like hay. I think this is a nice mixer, um, but I just want to smell it. And then Oregon Autumn. This is crisp, clean, and fresh fallen leaves with a hint of rain. Oregon Autumn. So that is the L3. And then last but not least, the one vendor that I can't say anymore I have the most of, but it's probably the second most, is Rose Girls. So let's get into Rose Girls here. I'm going to move this other stuff out of the way and get to Rose Girls. All right. So they're sliding all over the place. I have Cider Lane Bath and Body Works type. This one seems like it's an old sample that I have. So perfect for right now. This one is called Light as a Feather, Stiff as a Board, and Haunted Library. I was going to hold on to any haunted things or ghost things till Carbs with Girlfriends, stuff like that for October. But I've had this for a while and it's just a couple of them. So I'm like, let's let's put it in and see if I use it. Then I have Thankful. This would have been perfect for November, but we're going with it. Um, apple Fritter, dark, Dunk My Donut, Cup of Cake, and Vanilla Bean Noel. And that is Thankful. Then I have Cranberry Plum Ginger Ale. Just basically those three notes. And this is from November of last year. Um, Thankful is from October of last year. Good Night Moon. I got this last year in October. This is Sweet Lavender, Pink Sugar, Peppermint, and Birthday Cake. This is one of my favorite scents. I've definitely repurchased this one. You have to like peppermint, minty. Her peppermint oil is very, very strong, but the lavender is sweet in here. You get the birthday cake. You do get those other scent notes. Gosh, it's been forever since I've smelled this, so let me have a whiff. Yeah, but you really get that peppermint. Oh, it's so good. I love this in my bedroom, especially in the evening. It's, I love it. Very, I don't know, soothing. Then Midnight Society. I got this back in November of last year. This is Palo Santo Sweet Lavender Vanilla Bean Noel. Midnight Society. 
I do double bag my rose girls and I feel like it's helped to be honest. Um, so I'm, I'm doing it. <laughs> this is flannel and leggings or flannels and leggings. This is apple fritter, honey, cornbread, and chai lattes. This is such a cozy. I mean, it makes me want to be in my flannels and leggings drinking a chai. Uh, this one is fall hike. This is cozy air, apple, fall foliage, tonka, and warm woods. Fall hike. Then... Deer Camp. I talked about this one in the earthy sense. This is fresh fallen leaves, burning logs, and a touch of dirt. Deer Camp. This is such a different and very interesting in a good way scent. And then light as a feather, stiff as a board. So it's, you know, it's this one with without the haunted library. So this is just the the blend. And this is leaves, vanilla, amber, sandalwood, and toasted marshmallows. So that is my September melting basket. But like I said at the very beginning, I have this fall challenge. Uh, so if you want to figure, if you want to stick around and see what I what I group as potentials for these, what I'm I'm planning on warming for these days, then stick around. Uh, but if you think that's repetitive, that's cool too. I totally get it. Uh, thank you so much. If you're leaving me now, thank you so much for hanging out with me and watching the video. If you're gonna stick around, I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna warm on these days. And I should have brought a pen. I'll I'll, I'll put it in my phone here. Okay, so the fall melting challenge. If you're sticking around. Uh, you can get this print out on Facebook. Like you just save it as an image and then print it out. That's what I did. And I'm going to go through each one and pick from my basket um, what I plan on doing or options that I have because I may decide not to. And there was one scent that I completely forgot and I left it motorcycle and I left it uh, in the other room that is going to work for a, uh, a a prompt on here. This one is fall yoga pants by the fire. I'm like, where did, why, why wasn't that in my basket? So I grabbed like two things, but anyway, let's start with day one, which will start Monday, September 2nd. This is autumn market, a wax with a market or fair theme. So I know I talked about um, when I read the scent notes of this one, I'm like, ooh, I will add that to that day. So this is Strawberry Fest. Um, the, the funnel cake is what made me think of fair. So this is the L3 uh, Strawberry Fest. It's got vanilla ice cream, pound cake, funnel cake. So that I think would be perfect for that prompt. Then for Tuesday the 3rd, Autumn Stroll excuse me, a scent that reminds you of a walk in the park. I could pick a couple of things. Um, let's see here. Um, I don't want to take too long doing this because I do want to show like, hey, this is totally simple to do. Um, though actually the one that right now is not even in my basket that's sticking out in my head is Autumn Stroll from Scentsy. And well, that might be actually a really good one. But I think the one that I thought might be kind of good is Fall Hike, right? Stroll, hike. Where did I, where did that go? Here it is. Fall Hike. So that might be a good one. It's uh, Cozy Air. Got apple fall foliage, so that might be a good one for autumn stroll for day three, which is September 4th. So I know that's it, you're off by one day here. Falling leaves, a wax with earthy or leafy notes. I think apple peel and leaves from Knowles Farm Scents would be a great one because that's got the leaves scent. Day five is apple picking, an apple or orchard scent. I got a lot of scents here with apple, I think. Um, I mean, there's, it's fall Charlie Brown that I could do. There's, um, there's thankful, which is apple fritter dunk my donut that it's not quite an orchard scent, but you know, apple um, again, this is supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be super hard. I can either do, I can even do Jack's obsession cause that's an apple, apple cinnamon kind of scent. So that might be one that I do for 
uh, Thursday the 5th. For Friday the 6th, Harvest Moon, a wax with a moon or night beam. I have two that I could do depending on my mood. And one is actually called Harvest Moon. That's complete coincidence. This is Leaves Honey Spiced Pear because I didn't pick this out till today when I was just looking for scoops to put in my basket. So that might be kind of a, a good obvious one uh, just because of the name of it. Or Goodnight Moon, which I put in my basket from Rose Girls. Then day seven, Bonfire Nights, a smoky or woodsy scent. Well, I got lots of woodsy scents, but I think, um, I think the one that comes to mind as kind of smoky is by the fire. So by the fireplace, this is, it's not by the fire. It's called warm the soul, which has by the fireplace. So that one might be a good one for that day, which is kind of a smoky scent. Eight is a football season, so a scent that reminds you of game day. So this could be anything from like green wax to some, maybe a food that you want to eat, or it could be anything. I mean, really, um, but something, something that I can pick here that has green or like a grassy green note. Um... Well, we can do a number of things. So I don't think I'm sold on exactly what I'll melt that day for, but um, you know what? Actually, I changed my mind. Where did I do, where did I put um, deer camp? It has a touch of dirt. I feel like you get dirty playing football, right? So there you go, deer camp. I could do that. Um, for September 9th, uh, autumn rain, a fresh rainy day scent. So as I was reading the scent notes for Oregon Autumn, there's a hint of rain in this one. So that I think would work perfect for the prompt. For September 10th, it's Spiced Cider, a spicy cinnamon or cider scent. I think I had a lot of apple cider, but I had Cider Lane. Cider Lane, perfect for spiced cider. Hay rides, a wax with hay or a bar note. Well, um, hay rides, <laughs> that's pretty obvious. Scentsy, hay rides. And if you don't have Scentsy and you just have vendor wax, maybe you have another bar like from hay. This one's called hay from, they're, they're both, uh, both would absolutely work for this. Um, from L3 or Scentsy. Scentsy also has vanilla barn wood. So that could be a good one if you have that one. Um, then sweater weather. This is for September 12th. Melt a scent that feels warm and cozy. I, I had in here. This one has cozy in the name. Cashmere cozy, cashmere cream, cashmere cedar. So from second and spruce, cashmere cozy. Another thing you can do for these types of challenges is if you do have a spreadsheet with scent notes, um, you could type in certain words like cozy and see what comes up, right? And if you haven't picked out your basket yet, that could be one. Uh, and then I did mention that I forgot to put fall yoga pants by the fire. I meant to put this in the basket, um, but I don't know. That's That just sounds cozy, right? Fall yoga pants by the fire. That sounds cozy. Um, then cranberry harvest, a cranberry or berry scent. I had um, cranberry plum ginger ale from Rose Girls, so that's easy. And then Woodland Walk, a scent that evokes the feeling of being in the woods. Mm, did I use Fall Hike already? I think I used Fall Hike, but I said I could do Autumn Stroll maybe from, from um, Scentsy. I could do... I have to think of a woodsy scent. Do I not have woodsy scent? I do have pistachio woods. Is this really woodsy? But it has cedar wood. So maybe I could do something like that. Or I can do... I, yeah, I think I don't think I have a lot of outdoorsy scents in here. Um, so that might be one where... Oh, no, no. I know what I had. Woodsy. Um, vanilla woods. So again, sometimes you could just play with prompts and play on words. I mean, this might not remind me of a walk in, in the woods, but it's got woods in it. 
it would be a very nice smelling uh, of woods. And then the last day is pumpkin spice, a classic pumpkin scent. Well, I feel like I have a lot of scents here with pumpkin. Jack's Obsession has pumpkin. Uh, no, that's apple. Sorry, I used that one already. Uh, I Smell Fall has pumpkin mallow. Resting Witch Face has pumpkin. Um, I have pumpkin spice right here. So pumpkin spice, pumpkin spice latte pecan pie whipped cream from L3. So any of those could work. I probably have more in here than I can remember, but that is, that is how I kind of work. Is that working backwards? No, it's just working with what you have and kind of marrying a challenge with a basket together. So that didn't take me that long to go kind of figure it out. In my mind, I did have an idea of some of these already, but yeah, it was that that quick and easy. So if you wanna join the Fall Melting Challenge, please do. And I will put the, the prompts down if I can fit all this in the description box um, or I'll, I'll pin a comment. And again, it's in my Facebook group, which will also be, there'll be a link in the description box. And yeah, that's it. So I hope you enjoy this. I am, I mean, I get excited every month, but I'm really, really excited for this melting basket. I think it's gonna be so fun. Kind of new scents I haven't smelled or in a long, long time um, or warmed in over a year. So it is time, it is time, even though September is generally very hot here. We'll see how I feel. <laughs> we'll see how I feel. I might be in the middle of it going, no, I just can't do this, this stuff. But I, I warmed Salem this week and that's a pumpkin pecan waffle scent and i'm like oh that smells so good and it was a warm day it was in the 80s so um you know it's it's fun it's all good so thank you so much for hanging out with me i will chat with you later Bye bye